Hey everyone and welcome to another X Defying video. Today we're just going to go over the little bit of update that we got regarding the release for X Defiant. While it doesn't look good, on the plus side it is guaranteed to be coming out, especially with Mark Rubin and the X Defiant team hard at work. So what do we know so far? Well, from the Twitter post that he posted that he linked to us, you know, explaining the process. And basically what Mark Rubin kind of covered is the process is kind of a rigorous one. Basically, they spend about two to three weeks coming up with a build that they'll then submit to Sony and Microsoft, etc. They did this back in July, and if had everything gone smoothly, they would have, what's it called, had the game out by like late August, which again would have fallen with the September or no, so the summer release that they've been pushing through. Unfortunately, they failed. I don't think they specified on what exactly. And the thing is, for those of you wondering, what they're basically looking for is stuff like. It's not gameplay focus. It's more like the features are the trophies counting are the menus, you know, you know, the, from the game thing, do, do my friends pop up in the game, you know, just stuff from a console specific thing. So like do the Xbox features work with Xbox, do the PlayStation, you know, you know where I'm getting at with this, right? But yeah, that's pretty much the description he gave us. Uh, where they are at right now is they submitted the game uh failed I spent about two to three weeks fixing what they had and resubmitted i believe as of now th this is where the worst case scenario kind of comes in to me i don't really mind because well you know i'm sure they did everything they could but what's it called they they try to plan for this but some some things you just can't plan for, and the funny thing is, um, people are already speculating this game's gonna die out because of, uh, Call of Duty coming out shortly. But, pretty much how I explained in the last video, this is all just brand loyalty, so, you know, people that are saying this game's gonna die because it's gonna come to Call of Duty weren't really that interested in the game to begin with, so... I'm not gonna take whatever they say to heart or anything like that, you know, if the game's gonna die for them, even if by some miracle the game releases tomorrow, the game's gonna burn out on them, they're not that interested in the game as much as many others, so, there are those kinds of people that, you know, they'll say what, you know, that the game's gonna die because it's been delayed, but, the thing is, the game's not being delayed because of, it's being delayed out of the, sorry, I had a burp, it's being delayed out of the devs control, and there's not much we can do about that except just wait and hopefully, well, that's the thing too, he did, uh, Mark Rubin did specify though, if this pass goes through, then they can meet that uh, late summer release, if they fail, uh, uh, what's it called, they'll have to fix it, and chances are we probably won't see the game until October, which, again, not a big deal, especially for me. It's like I said, it's a long post. I'll be sure to link it in the description so you can read it yourself. But I was gonna read it, but again, it is a long read. And the, basically, just to summarize it, they're just explaining the process of uh, submitting the game, uh, where they're at, and you know what they hope going forward regarding the game. And that's pretty much all we know is that if this passes, then we'll be seeing this game by the end of September. If it fails. Uh, chances are it's gonna we won't see it till October which better than nothing right and I know some of you are like saying basically and this is the funny thing too I'm glad I waited because I wanted to bring this up I was gonna bring it up in a separate video but yeah Modern Warfare 2 you know Call of Duty they're having a uh, multiplayer access which in my opinion not a big deal you know they do this kind of stuff all the time but here's the thing too um here's where the things separate between x defiant and call of duty call of duty at this point really is out to get you for your money meanwhile the x defiant team is out to basically make the player experience fps game you've always wanted here's a little example too uh read real closely to the image i'm about to put on screen so the multiplayer access is for modern warfare 2 right comes with access to you know the multiplayer 11 modes 12 maps there's just one little catch, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm hoping you caught it. It's right, you know, how the, right there where it says September 13th to the 20th, and there's a little asterisk. Right below it tells you what the asterisk's for. They limit you to two and a half hours in match. 
keep in mind you could be playing domination and the match could drag on for 20 minutes or you can play a regular match a team death match which averages maybe seven to ten minutes all that's gonna add up and once you hit two and a half you're locked out from playing and going back to x defiant what are they, they're basically just in the what's it called submitting process hell right now there's nothing we can do about that that's basically up to the people in sony microsoft and whatnot and we've already covered no there's no uh, backstabbing going on behind the scenes it's just the regular process every new game has to go for i'm pretty sure if they ever made like an x defying in two in the future maybe the process will be a lot smoother but as of right now new ip and whatnot they have to go through this process and it's a pretty tricky one but Overall, I know the team uh, behind X Define are doing everything they can to get this game out in our hands and in the best state possible. Regarding Call of Duty, yeah, they're going to be going side by side, but, you know, a little competition doesn't hurt because remember, and this is a funny thing that a lot of people seem to not realize, when Call of Duty made Blackout, it was a simple, uh, you know, bat, bat, that Black Ops 4 um, Battle Royale. What exactly happened with that one? You would die and got sent straight to the main menu. Out comes Apex Legends, you know, a free battle royale. That game just shadow dropped and got so much attention. And they started, in, they introduced things like the respawn beacon, you know, stuff like that. And then what has happened um, when um, when Warzone came out, they, they gave people the option to be able to bring their teammates back from the dead. I'm not saying like, what's it called? Uh, basically what I'm trying to say is, even if what's it called call of duty and x define are going side by side if x define even has even the slightest advantage there's a good chance call of duty will try to copy that to you know get some players over you know because as of right now they're able to get away with all their scummy practices simply because there's no other competition out there but you know once some actual competition does show up guess what happens what's it called it's gonna force activision uh sledgehammer games and all them to kind of change things up a bit to be able to what's it called get the game that people truly do want to play it forces their hand basically sucks that we might have to wait an extra month but truth be told i don't mind waiting the if the game is going to be worth it it's going to be worth it that's pretty much what i'm just going to say at the end of the day but yeah pretty much that's all i got to say there's really not, not much yeah, it's an update regarding the release, but at the most, we're just looking at a, hopefully, if this passes, late September release or mid-October release. That's pretty much where, we, where we're standing at right now. Anyways, that's about it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Comment what you think about this whole X Defiant update. If, when would you prefer it to come out? If you're okay with the wait, as long as, you know what's it called as long as the game gets in our hands and yeah be sure to um, subscribe to my channel for more updates regarding games and other stuff i may look into covering and until the next video i'll see you all later